is dipole moment basically dipole moment is the measurement of polarity okay it, it tells us about molecule is polar or non-polar okay now if i write hcl now there is an electronegativity difference between these two atoms hydrogen and chlorine due to greater electronegativity value of chlorine it is partial negative and it is partial positive if i say charge on this molecule as a whole is q and distance between these two atoms is r between these two charges when i multiply q with r it is known as dipole moment so what is a dipole moment the product of q and r what is the q q is the charge and r is the distance between these atoms and its unit is d by d by and 1 d by is equal to 3.33 into 10 to the raised power minus 30 coulomb meter 3.336 okay you can say like that okay but you must remember unit of dipole moment is d by after the name of peter d by who discovered this okay okay students now what is next you must remember two things it is a vector quantity and direction of this dipole moment is from positive charge to negative charge okay here it is partial positive hydrogen and fluorine partial negative so it is from positive to negative here it is from positive to negative okay if dipole moment is zero molecule will be non-polar very important if dipole moment is not equal to zero molecule will be polar now if dipole moment is not equal to zero then we use a specific word that net dipole moment <laughs> net dipole moment now in other words if i say if dipole moment is zero molecule will be non-polar if dipole moment is net dipole moment net dipole moment molecule will be polar if i say this molecule suppose ch4 this molecule is non-polar what is its dipole moment? Yes, boys. It's zero. If it is zero. not polar, its dipole moment will be zero. Good. If I say NF3, this molecule is polar. What is its dipole moment? net dipole moment net dipole moment so if molecule is polar it has a net dipole moment okay now move to next here it is in this example boys listen it carefully now here dipole moment is 1.46 so it means it is nh3 molecule is Polar or non-polar? Polar. Polar. Good. Now NF3, it has 0 0.24 d by dipole moment. It means it is polar or non-polar? Also polar. polar. It is also polar. We have two types of molecule. Diatomic molecule. Remember chapter number two? Or polyatomic molecule. Okay, friends, what is diatomic molecule? That molecule in which two atoms are present. 
if there are two atoms present in a molecule then molecule is known as a diatomic molecule now for example clcl brbr -BR. so both there are two atoms one two one and two okay hcl there are two atoms okay now if diatomic molecule then how will you tell me it's a dipole moment it's a dipole moment zero or it has an at a dipole moment now if both atoms in a diatomic molecule are same both atoms are same then molecule will be non-polar we have discussed this one in our chapter number nine non-polar okay now if both atoms are different then molecule will be polar clear this one it means if both atoms are same then dipole moment will be zero if both atoms are different in a diatomic molecule it means it has a net dipole moment clear this one so this is rule number one okay for polyatomic molecules for example if i ask you ch4 bcl3 becl2 nh3 how will you tell me which molecule is polar or non-polar boys listen if polyatomic molecule polyatomic molecule mean that molecule containing more than two atoms how many atoms are here five five very good how many atoms are here four Four. Good. Here? Four. Three. And here? Four. Four. Very good. Okay. For polyatomic molecule, you will find its type by using VSCPR theory. Now, here it is AB4 type. It is AB3 type. It is AB2 type. And it is AB3E1. Let's have another example, H2O. It is A, B, 2, E2. Boys, now listen. When you see E1 or E2, molecule will be polar. Simple. If you see E1 or E2 electron pairs in a molecule, then molecule will be polar okay now if there is no e1 or e2 no lone pair on the central atom then again we have two rules now just like this one or this one there is no e1 or e2 now if all atoms attached with the central atom are same now here all atoms four atoms of hydrogen same three atoms of chlorine same two atoms of chlorine here same if all atoms are same then molecule is non-polar non-polar it means dipole moment is zero but if these atoms are not same for example i am writing it here ch2 cl2 now its type is a before there is no e1 or e2 but these atoms hydrogen and chlorine these are different so it means it is polar if i write bh f2 now its type is a b3 but these two atoms hydrogen and fluorine these two attached with this boron these are not same hydrogen and fluorine are not same so it is also polar 
clear this one if same atoms then it is non polar if different atoms it is polar okay students so these are the rules to tell me which molecule is polar or which is non polar which has zero dipole moment or which has net dipole moment any question from your side here these are written no need for this table okay because these are diatomic molecules if these are diatomic molecules and these are also between different atoms so these are polar and here these are polyatomic molecules you have to find it is a b2 e2 it is a b2 e2 and it is a b3 e1 and it is a b2 e1 now you here you see e1 e2 e1 and e2 okay so these are polar molecules simple any question okay okay friends let's move to next now tell me brcl it is polar or non polar polar it's polar very good ch2cl2 it is polar or non polar 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 it is polar. polar if it's a polar then its dipole moment will be net uh, uh, dipole moment net dipole moment very good it has a net dipole moment okay students